And despite that loss to Texas Tech, which still remains as one of the more shocking results of the year, Oklahoma bounced back and lost in the last second to Baylor, then got housed on the final day by Oklahoma State. And as a result, the Sooners, as they might have expected in the preseason, playing a bowl game in Phoenix, the problem is they're playing the inside bowl instead of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, and they'll face Iowa, who won the 2010 inside bowl, and you can see that game on ESPN. So we talked a lot about this, Craig. Who really wants to be there? Who's excited about showing up? What do you expect the mindset of the Sooners to be on December 30th? Man, this is a get-off-the-carpet game for them. This is one of those that Oklahoma needs this football game so that when they go into the offseason, they'll have a good feel, good taste in their mouth. This is a very talented football team, a very disappointed football team in their season. But Bob Stoops is a guy that has a lot of pride. He has a lot of good football players. They will show up and play. This is an Iowa team. Those can be a challenge. I mean, Iowa's a solid ball club. They lost five games. Their signature win was against Michigan. But they're still going to be a good competitor in this ball game. I, I agree. Bob Stoops, a lot of pride. I, I'm worried about these players on this team. We have not seen them get up off the carpet. We've seen them stay down. That Texas Tech loss, inexplicable. Can't possibly happen. And then the way they played against Oklahoma State, not showing up. I'm not sure this team can get up for a bowl game. You talk about teams being motivated and be, that being important for a bowl game. I didn't see this team motivated against Oklahoma State. I didn't see them mo motivated against Texas Tech. I don't see them getting it together for this ball game. You're absolutely right. And for Bob Stoops to turn this around, this may have to be his best coaching yeah, job absolutely. of his career. Yeah. Because this team was unmotivated at Bedlam. Oklahoma State, their arch rival. They win that game, they're playing in a BCS game, they're playing at Fiesta Bowl. I can't understand why that team laid an egg like that. And I've never seen a Stoops team quit. But in my opinion, they laid how, down. How much is of an impact? And it's no excuse, I mean, if what you guys are saying is accurate for not playing as hard as you can. But they lose Broyles. They lose Whaley. Uh, they had, had some of the offseason, the loss of Austin Box in the offseason. How much of an impact do you think that's had on their play? That's an impact, but that's up to the coaching staff. Because you recruit a lot of players. There are a lot of players on scholarship there. There's a lot of players that practice there. You know what? The rule is if the guy ahead of you goes down, next man in. Well, if they don't have the next man in prepared, and I know you lose a great player like Royals, but you've got to have somebody step up, and that's why you give those guys yeah, I, Coaching staff, but I put that more on the players. I mean, I put that more on the players to rally, step up, and move on. But that team never got beyond that. When bad things happened to them, they stayed in a funk. They didn't get beyond it, and that's senior leadership, and that's veteran players taking charge. Yeah, that's you think Stoops needs to make a lot of changes in the offseason? It's just sort of happened several times in a row. This is the evaluation game. This is the beginning of 2012. That's why this game here is so important for this football team. For Bob Stoops, man, he's got to figure it out. Evaluation, who wants to play? These guys have to come out and say, okay, our first game of next year is now. And get that taste out of their mouth and show some competitiveness. And you do lose players. I, I think players are partly to blame. Coaches are partly to blame. Bob Stoops, would, he would accept full responsibility for it. So uh, this is an Iowa team that doesn't have all that pressure. Well, and the other thing, too. Honesty compels me to say I'm not sure that Iowa has the talent to hang in there, too. I mean, there's going to be a big talent discrepancy on the field between Oklahoma and Iowa when they play on December 30th.